Um, so just looking in terms of what, what we're looking at, where the banks have granted bonds and where they've focused, um, not a huge kind of change. Um, you can see the lines are pretty, pretty similar. If you're looking at your super luxury, your kind of your mid value all sitting at the top, um, your high value also at the top, uh, low value, obviously not really a market where they, they like to focus. Um, and then at the top, it's just giving you a view in terms of your bonded transactions and the bonded value. Once again, a very similar trend mm. if we kind of just want to look at that and going back into 2018. I think, you know, the, you can kind of see the uptick in 2020, um, which is after the COVID, mm. which we're seeing. But we still, we still have never reached the levels of 2007, mm. 2008, before the property crash, yes. um, that was at an all-time high, mm. and we're still not there. So it's quite interesting. I'm going to put you on the spot here. Yes. <laughs> um, in terms of, in terms of, <coughs> you know, a lot of people are, are, are going to their banks for um, their solar power, mm. alternative mm. energy. Do you see that banks are going to be um, redirecting or, t or taking a, l a, a, a less of a risky, a risky approach and push more capital towards that? Or and do you foresee that they are still willing to provide the the hundred uh, the the ninety ninety five hundred percent bonds going mm -hmm. forward? We saw that appetite, especially two years ago. They were yeah. willing to bond yeah. at hundred yeah. percent. Um, and considering that people are now going back into their bonds, accessing mm -hmm. some of mm -hmm. that funds, will that, will will banks be capping it? Do they see that solar is providing value to some of the households? So it's quite interesting. I, I think there are certain, once again, affordability of solar. Um, I think if we look at what it actually costs mm. to get it in, is once again, you're looking at a price bracket, a value of a, of a property in a certain area. Yep, yeah. um, and it's definitely more in the areas where it's people that can afford it. Um, we haven't seen anything as yet that is uh, increase in value on a property having solar. Mm. Having said that though, if you're looking to buy for a property and there's a little, it has solar, it certainly has more drive, right? Yes, to get more eyeballs. Mm. Um, and I think the banks in terms of their loan to value, in terms of the percentage, they have pulled back. Mm. Um, and I think it's being mindful around what's happening with the economy. Yeah. Um, and I think it's prudent. I mm. think you have to. Agree with you. Mm. Um, just in terms of the spend, so we have seen that. Mm.